what's going on Baywolf Nations? I'm Baywolf back get up with another video Trying to get out here before it gets dark to launch. Look at there's the intercoastal waterway right there uh, Just got back late last night would be technically today uh, to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina from being out in California for five days excited to be back time to get into my jet skis and tear it up uh, was super exhausted from the trip being uh, three hours behind uh, time zone here and it, I got home super late spent the whole day flying I posted on my Instagram uh, sometimes it's pretty cool videos that uh, an Instagram story of you know going through the, the mountains and all that kind of stuff and it was crazy the scenery from being on the west coast to the east coast of just how terrain and everything's different uh, the crazy thing too when I was out there when I was in Monterey, they have the Monterey, Monterey Aquarium, and it's like a like a biology a bi, uh, lab there too, and they have acoustic equipment in the ocean there. Now the craziest thing, when I was out there, they pick up some sound of some whatever, some type of thing making sounds in the water that's never been recorded anywhere in the world that was in Monterey Bay. What the heck could it have been? And uh. It's, it's crazy because it's like when I was out there, you know, there isn't as many sharks and stuff, tons of sea lions and whatnot, um, but it's crazy. Like, what could that been? And uh, they had some like really old pod of orcas that was in that area too that I found out um, that was around that. Wish I could have seen them, um, but here I am almost to the boat ramp. Glad to be back. Also too, when I was out there, um, when they had the form of the BMW reunion, I brought my camera equipment. We were just a tad late being there, but it was kind of one more of those events. Like you don't bust out your camera. It was like a short period of time. It was only a couple hours long of talking to people. And it's too bad I didn't film anything. I think there's like a whole group shot. I'll post that up top um, with the reunion. Uh, and it was cool catching up with people I raced against, uh, people who worked in the series, people that were officials. It was really neat just to see people because some of these people I haven't seen for over 15 years. And it's crazy where, uh, you know, some people look like they didn't age at all. And then some people are, you're like, holy cow, man, uh, they really aged. And um, that was cool being at that. And it was definitely a fun trip being out there, being, you know, going jet skiing out to an oil rig. Um, that was epic. Also being epic, going to Universal Studios, hanging out with my family too. It was cool having my brother out there, my mom. And it was really cool um, doing the Halloween Horror Nights. And then probably like a week or so I'm going to Orlando for the uh, one they're doing at Universal Studios and also too at the beginning of October I'm going to the world finals in Arizona so it's just a lot of trips planned and uh, trying to get in some riding it's crazy it's like going Monterey was super cold and then coming out here where it's like it was so humid I was like oh yeah it's bad because it was out there people wearing like jackets pants I'm like oh I'm not ready for any cold weather yet, and it's crazy being on the West Coast how much the temperature changes by just driving, uh, you know, a couple hundred miles really makes a difference. But here we are at the boat ramp. Let's get launched in. We got some light still, and uh, let's tear it up. I'm going to take out my 2018 Sea-Doo RXPX 300, and uh, see what we see. Get going to get wet, and uh, let's have some fun. All right, so on Intercoastal Waterway here at North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I don't know if you guys can see way ahead. There is a giant yacht coming down the coastal, intercoastal right now. I'm going to try to catch up to it. Maybe got some big waves to jump. Man, I'm just glad to be back home, be back where I love to ride. It's definitely different traveling all around, going to different places, jet skiing. But hey, this is like... I have to say, I have to say, this is one of my favorite spots. This is kind of cool because you never know what you're gonna see, especially the ocean out here. You never know what you're gonna see. So let's get this video going. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. If you're already an existing subscriber, part of the Bay Wolf Nation, hit the bell notification to be notified as soon as my next uploads uploaded. Make sure to also check out my I Am Bay Wolf merch at IamBayWolf.com. I also have an Amazon store that's Amazon.com slash shop I am Babel. To any of my viewers that want to know what kind of gear to have when you go jet ski, like tie down, all that kind of stuff. If it's down to survival gear, if it's down to what kind of filming equipment, all that stuff. I have all these categories at my Amazon store that's Amazon.com slash shop I am Babel. Make sure to check it out, both of those sites. 
and uh, let's get it going. Almost out of the no wake zone. The tide is super low. It was a little hard to get in there. I had to go a lot farther than the normal, but we're out here. Let's catch up before it gets too dark to that giant yacht, get some filming, maybe has some big waves to it. It's gonna probably pick up some speed because it is out of the no wake zone. Let's get it going.
it's cold. It's brisk.
dragonfly or something. Crap, man, that hurt. Big dragonfly hit me like right there in my arm. Ooh. I've been hit by bugs plenty of times, man. That thing, when you do about 80, you get hit by a dragonfly about like that big, man. That hurts. Luckily, it hit me in the face. Man, it felt like, it felt like somebody like, like whipped you with something, man. I was like, whew. It's like, ah, felt that. You just don't feel it that bad. That, that one ate, this thing's running good, cool weather. Uh, it's be like, it's the humidity's not here. That's a big thing with these things running, like I tell people is, the humidity really makes a change of how your ski runs once you start mod modifying, if it's minor to uh, heavily modified, this thing's running easily 80 miles per hour with almost a full tank of gas, so. And plus two, like, look at that. I haven't been out, let's see, like 15 minutes, nearly burned a half a tank of gas. I had traveled that far, so it's like when this thing's running good, man, right at those top speeds, you burn fuel like it's like it's nothing. And I had to say the big difference, I know the Yamaha, my GP1800R holds some more fuel, but man, I'll tell you, the Yamaha gets a lot better gas mileage than the sea do. so uh, like I said, when people are in the market, what you're buying, it's kind of all comes to what you're doing and whatnot, but this thing, this thing, this thing burned fuel like crazy when it was stock. This is crazy too, all the times riding, I've seen this only once. That's why you wanna avoid certain areas, but the tide's super low and there's like an island here. So when you even look, when the water's a little bit higher, I mean, you, you can easily beach that stuff right in there. And I've seen people ride up close in there. It's pretty, pretty crazy. It's probably really shallow. That's why I wasn't carving too, too deep into certain areas because I mean, it's, it's super deep right here in the center. It's probably about almost 30 feet deep, but you can tell um, there's certain areas that's like when I'm on this, I try to watch how I'm jumping waves, especially with that yacht. How is jumping waves because that's the kind of stuff you have to worry about. The last thing we'll do is kind of jump when you're kind of coming really close to shore, land on that and be stuck or get thrown off really bad and get hurt. So always kind of know where you're at and how you're riding, and how, especially how deep it is. There's maps you can get where you don't need to have a depth finder and you can kind of get an idea and then kind of calculate by just looking by what the tide is and if it's a new area. That's kind of where I like to go, places I've been before because that's the kind of stuff you're aware of um, when you come here. Then if you're always some new spot, it's cool, but then you don't know how the terrain and all that changes with the tide. High and low, lakes are a little bit different, but when you're tying into stuff that goes flows in the ocean, that's the stuff to think about. But man, it came an epic video with hardly that much time riding out here. I'm so happy to be back home on my skis. This thing's running like a champ with only 69 hours on it. I know it's not a lot. I've owned this since 2018. And uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Almost hitting 20, 2020. And I, I really, my goal is to keep the hours down low on these machines, uh, resale value and plus two. Uh, I just, I don't like going riding where it's super long anymore because I like to have my things always, you know, where you're not overrunning them, where you might not lead to having maintenance problems and whatnot. Also too, I've noticed by running them, like how I'm doing now, the oil doesn't get as dark as quick. Before what I found, especially on the sea dews uh, on both of them when I had my 2018 RX-TX and with this RX-PX, when you ride for hours and hours in, even after oil change, the oil turns really dark. Uh, I change oil twice before you hit 50 hours. Um, so I'm due to be siphoning out the oil on this. I probably changed the oil probably in this like four to five times so far already and only at 69 hours. I try changing it quite frequent. I don't wait to every 50 hours. Every 50 hours I change my oil filter, uh, but between oil, shorter oil changes, I don't change out the oil filter. I just segment out the oil, put fresh stuff in, and it is due to get some new oil in her. It's pretty clear, but it's starting to get a little dark, but not to what it was before. I mean, before when you ride these things for a long time, the oil gets really dark, and it is not good on any machine to be running dirty oil. And that's why I kind of run them this way. Telling my viewers, you might like to ride it for hours and end, all power to you. I respect that, but myself, that's not how I run my machines anymore uh, because I want stuff to last long with it. And uh, I do all the maintenance myself, so I, I care less about the warranty um, with them because, you know, when you keep stuff, you know, keep an eye on things all the time before riding, um, it keeps not having any real maintenance issues. 
I mean, this thing's been pretty, pretty good, and same with my Yamaha. So, I'd have to just say, it's just the, the wear ring thing was going on both, both the CDs. So, listen, we're almost into the no wake. Let's put this thing in before it gets too dark. It is see, 7 30, it gets dark at 7 18. I luckily got an extra 10 minutes of riding on here, which I'm happy with a decent amount of light, especially wearing sunglasses so the bugs don't hit your eyes. Let's head it in. button to existing subscribers part of the beowulf nation man hit that bell notification also do if you like to kind of see um some photos and whatnot or instagram stories i post on my instagram it's i am underscore beowulf like i said make sure to check out my uh merch store that's i am beowulf.com also too like i said um i have an amazon store that's amazon.com slash shop i am beowulf there's all different types of stuff in there you don't have to have a jet ski to check some stuff i have on there like I said, I have jet ski related stuff, stuff to certain model skis. Um, it has uh, filming gear, drone stuff. I mean, just so much of survival gear. You know, if you're into camping or want to be prepared for a hurricane, tornado, earthquake, check that out. It's the end of the video. I'm going to get this stuff launched in. Make sure to also to be driven to win. Uh, I teed up with Barrel Bag. They make this really cool bag. If you haven't seen the past video, I have it stored up in there. Uh, I put it in and pick up any trash. If I see on the river, lakes, uh, ocean, uh, if I'm even just hanging out at the ocean, check them out. Uh, Barrel Bags on Instagram. They're a non for profit organization that helps cleaning up the ocean. Uh, but good thing when I'm out here, I didn't see any trash to pick up to put in the barrel bag, so I'm happy with that. Remember, every day is Earth Day. Be driven to win. I'll see you guys in the next video, so stay tuned. A lot of crazy things going on before this year ends. Peace out, Bay Wolf Nation. Man, I'm lucky this place is all private to myself. Lucky. Another day in paradise.